the devs are listening. Welcome to Wildstar Weekly. Once again, Mr. Stephen Frost is not here, and I couldn't be happier. <laughs> that's mean. That's, that's, that's terrible. That's, that is a little mean. I love Frost, and I'm sad he's not here. <laughs> uh, instead, I'm stuck with Kevin Lee. How are you doing, man? I am doing well, thank you. Thank you for having me. Uh, of course. Kevin Lee is our lead PvP designer for Carbine, uh, or at Carbine for Wildstar, rather. And actually, he has a more important title. Don't uh, do it. Don't handsomest do it. man at Carbine. You his, son of a bitch. Is handsome, <laughs> handsomest dad at Carbine. He did not want me to say that. Yeah. Uh, I've been, been <laughs> talking about it this whole morning. He's very upset with me. He actually said he was going to punch me. I don't see any punches. So I kind of got off camera where there's no proof. Oh, okay. Yeah. No, I like There his won't style. be any bruising. Just no. No. <laughs> oh, yeah. You're just going to put oranges in a sock <laughs> so there's no bruising. I know how the mafia did it. <laughs> I shouldn't be talking about the Mafia on a live stream. We're going to be doing <laughs> war plots today. Yeah, Very yeah. excited. Uh, we're going to be showing off uh, how to build a war plot, all the different things that you can be doing uh, inside of your war plot, the best kind of like strategies. I'm very excited because I've never gotten to play with a war plot before. Uh, and so through you, I'm going to play with it. Yeah, we'll be able to check out all the different types of plugs and uh, go through the match match uh, flow of yeah. war plots. That'll be so. cool. I'm, ex I'm excited to, to build a, a house of carnage, really. That's a really good way of putting it. It's, it's basically you're, you're built, it's a, the housing system made for people who want to kill other people. Yes. So. House of carnage. <laughs> you might be familiar with House of Cards. No, no. This is House of Carnage. You see the double tap with a ring on the table? Huh? Anybody get that reference? That's impressive. Am I the only? Okay. Golf club. Uh, so, thank you. So we are, we're actually waiting for the uh, dev client to download right now. It is going rather slow. So we're actually going to be taking some questions from chat. Maybe questions like, uh, how did you get started at Carbine? I'm going to go ahead and get the ball rolling. Uh, start submitting your questions in the Twitch chat. And uh, and we'll be pulling up some questions in just a matter of seconds. So yeah, let's let's get the ball rolling. How did you start here, and uh, what what kind of previous experience did you have? Uh, well, I start here. It was a very very you know covert process. I applied for the job, and huh. then I got called for an interview. So. It, Worked out nicely. <laughs> well, that about wraps up this show. Thank you so much. Can you shoot Banter. him? Can you shoot him for being a smart ass? Miss. Thank you. You son of a. <laughs> How did you get started? When did, did you start in PvP? Have yes. you always been uh, I, like a PvP designer? Four years ago, I started as the only PvP guy. So uh, I was working solely on BGs, arenas, and yeah. all PvP systems. So I had the distinct privilege of being able to do all that stuff. Oh wow! Yeah. By yourself, that's rather hardcore. Yes. Uh, fortunately, uh, you know, two years later, uh, Jen Gordy came on board and finally someone to talk PvP with. Yeah. <laughs> now you, uh, <coughs> excuse me, so a little, <coughs> a little sick. <coughs> 
I'm glad I'm um, sitting so close to you. Yeah, I no, I'm going to just transfer all of this onto you. <laughs> Don't worry, your handsome jeans will fight them off. Son of a bitch. <laughs> and now we know why Tony Ray needs glasses. Clearly his prescription needs to be updated. Hey, hey. People, this is a handsome man right here. I don't need glasses, all right? This is a handsome man. Anyway, moving on. We had a conversation um, at the launch party, actually, about uh, a previous job uh, that you had had that uh, to be trained for it, you actually went into, it was like an army game, yeah. right? And so to, to train for that, you went into, into boot camp for a week. Absolutely. So prior to this, I worked on a, a tactical first person shooter called America's Army, uh -huh. and they were very re uh, big on realism. So. Uh, in order to get the devs accustomed to what the army was actually about, they they sent us off to Fort Jackson, South Carolina. We got on white buses. They issued us ACUs, M16s, and we went through a week of boot camp. So it's probably one of the most difficult yet rewarding experiences I've ever gone through. Got to do you know CQB tra training. Got to do weapons training. You know, being able to shoot a 50 cal mm -hmm. at a exploded tank was also wow. probably a highlight. <laughs> The numbers are in. You just got 47% more handsome with that right there. More handsome. 47%. That is really cool, though, that they were that focused on realism that they wanted you uh, to actually, like, get in and get your hands dirty. I mean, that, that's kind of funny to imagine a bunch of video game developers, like, shooting tanks and stuff. Yeah. And, and talk about team building. When you go through something like that, you yeah. know, after that trust falls seem kind of ridiculous. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> trust, trust falls. Oh, I love uh, I love what was really popular like two years ago, like um, surprise trust falls. You just walk into public and trust fall. You just fall on some stranger. Yeah, I think it was a Tosh Point thing. Don't look at me like I'm crazy. <laughs> that was a real thing. Uh, so we got a couple questions uh, from chat, and uh, the client's almost done downloading. <clears throat> Space Yeti. Uh, can we expect further PvP rewards to be added in the near future for rated BGs? So new rewards and like near new gear will be added for I believe every new season. So I, that season will come with when we have bigger content drops. Right. So. Okay. Um, this question is from <laughs> Vile Knight. Vile Knight, did Frost contract a strain? Hashtag broke. Uh, that was a good pun, Vile Knight. Uh, Frost did not con contract a strain. Um, just, yeah, uh, needed a couple days off. And man works hard, so. Man works damn hard, spending some time with the wife. So, good for him. I'm glad he, he's able to do that. Um, yeah, he's not sick. I definitely contracted some type of disgusting strain. I feel like at any moment, there's about to be this monster popping out of my chest, screaming at the top of its lungs. That would be awesome. That would be... Oh, uh, terrifying. If that legitimately happened right now, you would never be able to sleep again. I would be dead, and you would never be able to sleep. You would win the impression off, though. I would win the impression off. How dare you? At long last, a victory. Uh, go to hell. This is, uh, this is from Tezius. Uh, this, is, uh, this is a paragraph, so get ready. Tezius, I think, it, yeah, Tezius. Kevin, there is some concern about solo queuing for uh, RBGs and getting dropped into a game where everyone is abandoning ship and they're getting hit right in the ELO for it. Will you guys be letting us choose to joining a fresh game soon? That particular option will not be available. Well, right now we're making adjustments right. to the ELO system and to how you're being matched so you won't encounter that. Okay, so they won't have are... that problem, but we're not gonna... Yeah. Uh, okay, sweet. Let's see. I Let's like this name. Uh, this is, well, the questions are pouring in. I'm gonna change this real quick. They're just coming in. Really, uh, yeah, thank you guys for sending in all these questions. You can also send me questions on Twitter. That's at Tony Ray. I'll be pulling a few of those uh, off of my Twitter as well because that's a little bit easier to manage than uh, Twitch chat. So if you'd like your question answered, uh, you can always go to Twitter if you have one. Um, let's go th get this question from I Nerd Rage a lot. <laughs> <laughs> Gotta love the internet. <laughs> yeah. I had raged out at the end of the last show uh, of the Nexus Report. Did you watch that? I did not. <laughs> Way to support your fellow developers. I was working on PvP, so I have a valid excuse. Okay, fine. That's that's fine. Yeah, I, I nerged right out. Uh, Frost wasn't here, and we did an impression off, and they still voted that he won with him not being here. <laughs> so I, I rage quit the show. It was great. Well, it must uh, have been I, that bad, though. It was pretty damn bad. I'm not going to lie. I'm not going to lie. 
Uh, this is from I Nerd Rage uh, a lot. What is your favorite part of war plots? Tony. <laughs> My favorite part of war plots is going to be discovered when uh, the first time I see them right here. I haven't gotten a chance to play war plots. My my favorite part, uh, man. There's just so many. It's uh, it's being able to customize your your fort for your for how your particular playstyle. So if you want to make a, a offensively strategy, offensively based map or, uh -huh. or war plot, you can do that. Or if you want to do more defensive, you can do that as well. Yeah. And you know, 40 40 large scale carnage does not hurt either. I mean, I feel like I, war plots and I are going to get along really well because I love the housing in our game. And, and I also love to kill people. Which so. rarely happens from what I understand. <sighs> Handsome Kevin's getting yeah. a little sassy. Getting Told a little you. sassy. <laughs> and I don't understand why. Okay, uh, this next question is from Dear Dot, Dear, Do Dear Dodie, Dear Dottie, Dear Dottie. I'm sorry, I'm messing up everyone's name in here. Can we solo queue into war plots? Uh, yes, you can. We have a system called the uh, mercenary system. So if you're not a part of a war party, you can queue up and you'll be placed with a, a war party that's uh, uh, doing a war plot match. Okay, sweet. Good, good to know. So how much uh, more setup do we have to get? Just a few more. It shouldn't take too much longer. All right, let me pull a question from the Twitterverse. The Twitterverse. Uh, this is from uh, Stefan Frost. How did you determine at Dev uh, Muffin Man? That's actually that's actually uh, his his uh, Twitter handle at Dev Muffin Man. That is my Twitter which handle, which we're going to talk about in a second. But this is from Stefan Frost. How did you determine at Dev Muffin Man as the most handsome dude at Carbine? My mom demands a recount. <laughs> Stefan Frost is not happy uh, <laughs> that I, I think you're the handsome man. Uh, listen, there was no counting here, Frost, all right? You can't win every damn competition that we have on this live stream, all right? Why not? You're losing this one, because this man is more handsome than you, and I don't care what you say. I'm talking right to Frost there. Uh, you know, Frost isn't even here today, but he still has managed to upset me. Uh, we got a question from C C Cranberry Jelly. I love that name, and I love Cranberry Jelly. Let's be real. Yeah. Cranberry Jelly? Delicious. The, the bomb. I was gonna say something else, and really glad I didn't. Really, I really right back in because I would have gotten shot probably with a real gun. They would have set down the Nerf gun, shot me with a real gun. I doubt that would have happened. Ah, uh, maybe. <laughs> Can you imagine if I got murdered on the live stream? That would be awful. Ratings. <laughs> do you have a rough estimate on when the PVP? P, uh, do you have a rough estimate on when the PVP gear? Patch will come. Reading kids, it's fundamental. All right. <laughs> <laughs> this this man is getting sassy. Okay, that's two. That's two. How dare you? I'm sick. Since Frost I'm on is medication, <laughs> and I can't read so well right now. Frost isn't here, so I have to give you crap. So someone has to do it. Someone has to. All right, handsome Kevin, I'll take that. So I, I it was when is the neck? When is the PP gear? gear? Coming in or fixes to the PvP here? Yes. In. When can we expect them to come in? Uh, right now we're targeting patch two. So that we're actually today after the live stream, I'm going to be working with the class team to be testing the PvP stat change and get a uh, get a little bit more uh, testing on that, see how it feels, and make adjustments for that. So we are hard at work on that issue. All right. Cool. 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 This is from um, at Wildstar Latino. Uh, the the map in War Plots uh, will it change or will it always be the same? It's always the same map. The, okay. The plan in the future is to eventually get more maps, but they they're massive, so it's well, a and lot then they, of work. they definitely change, right? Because I mean, if they're your War Plot, you can put different things, different no, places, I, I right? No, I think they're so referring like, to the actual map that you play in. So like okay, your, right. your actual War Plots will change how you however you want them to be. Right. But the actual map that you fight in yeah, is, yeah, is yeah. always the same. Okay. So we inside now? Can we start uh, yeah, we can look messing at with some stuff? I'll this. pull I'll pull a couple more questions in a second. Let's go ahead and uh, take a look at, at where we're at right now. Oh, you're flying around. I'm going to fly around just so we can get yeah. a view of... So we are in the dev build right now, obviously. We're not in, li in the live build, so you cannot fly around <laughs> like this. I just want to make that clear. Uh, so this is kind of to get a view, an air view. Look at this. So this is your this is the build map for your Warplot. As you can see, we're... Your, your massive fortress is floating in the sky right now. And 
there are seven areas that you can insert plugs can into. You go first person. There we there go. You go. So there's several. I'm sorry. Turn right. There's the, there's seven different uh, plugs. So this is a plug, or one of our small plugs. This is a large plug. This is our transport plug. So now plugs, the, plugs. Can you describe them for people who who don't know? I mean, I know. I actually I wrote the definition on what a plug is. Then you can go ahead and take this one. No, no, no. <laughs> you go. I, you know, I'm the host. I, I ask <laughs> ask you the questions. So stop being sassy and answer the damn question. <laughs> So He's plugs are the, <laughs> the plugs are what you can actually socket into this section. Okay. So if we go right here, I can open my <laughs> landscape menu, and I can select from these are all the type of of plugs that I can socket in this particular in this particular plug. So right now I'll select the p deployment station, and that's going to build up right oh, now. Oh snaps! I'm bringing back oh snaps by the way. I know it hasn't been said in a while. But I'm bringing it back. It needs to be brought back. It's Thank you. Me, me and handsome Kevin are gonna bring. I'm gonna make this happen. Bitch. You gotta stop that, man. I, you know, I just can't though. It's just so true. <laughs> All right. So this is uh, this is the transport plug. Uh, what this allows you to do is you can, it will hot drop you into uh, points in the center of the map. So basically, you'll you'll spawn in a drop pod. You'll come down in a glorious ball of fire and then land on the map. You come down in a ball of fire? A, a drop pod. Yeah. Hell yeah. yeah. That's awesome. It's pretty fun. Uh, so each, you'll, if you'll notice on the map, you'll, these have numbers and these correlate with the pad. So you know where, you're, where, where you'll be headed in the map. Oh, okay. So that, this, this is definitely good for if you want to get out in the field of specific areas really quickly. Also, uh, you'll notice two of the pads aren't active right now. And th that's because you can upgrade your plugs during the match. So uh -huh. as you upgrade them, it will it, it will you know open these up. So then you can get drop, hot drop closer into you know closer to the enemy war plot. Okay. Okay. All right. So let's see what else we can put in here. We're just gonna fully kit out. So right now we're going to put let's put a real military research center in. So for so this is called what we term as a small plug, but it's still pretty massive. It but uh, it's small in relation to the large plugs. Oh, that looks pretty big. So uh, this uh, particular plug gives uh, teams uh, a buff. So you'll get uh, a buff for all the deployables in your war plot. They uh -huh. have an uh, increased amount of health. So look at this bad boy. Oh, what is this? This is the Military Research Center. So that, What the heck? That is really cool. So what? So if I'm a player and I'm running through your war plot, what is this doing here? What, what, what is the effect? Right now, they, they also there's guards here, so these enemy guards will try to stop you if you're right. trying to make your way through here. But the primary function of this is that it gives you that buff. For, it's a team-wide buff. Okay, so, okay. And also, it has, you'll notice it's interactable. So if we click on this, it'll give us... Oops. Cancel. It didn't spawn. But it will give you... <laughs> uh, Again, we are on the dev build, and sometimes on the dev build... But that would, that, like that, what that would have done is that would, that would have given you a, a, a turret that you could mount oh, okay. on and you would fire. So you, you would be controlling that right. turret. So it, it has some defensive options as well. That's pretty sweet. Okay. All right, moving on to the large plugs. Let's see. So this is where it you'll have a, a lot of choices. So you, like as I mentioned earlier, you can choose to you know build your war plot offensively or defensively. Uh -huh. um, with for defense, you could choose something like a hazard plug, like the nuclear power plant, which we'll go ahead and grab. Now, is that is uh, is is choosing to go whether offensively or defensively? Is that like kind of your own playstyle, or is there is there pros and cons to doing both? Because I frankly I'm not concerned about defense. I want to get in your face. I want to go all offense all the time. Do you know what I'm saying, handsome Kevin? Well, there's also two ways to <laughs> there's also two <laughs> ways to win the match. So you can win by just going purely offensive and uh -huh. destroying uh, generators in the opposing team's base. So there's two generators on either side. You kill both of those, you win the match. Oh, okay. The other way is to to win is through attrition, and that is there's there's a cost to your war plot. So you have an energy resource in your match and Every few seconds, your, your your energy costs will be deducted. So if, and also you can deduct 
your enemy's energy by killing them or by destroying their plugs. So the team that ultimately uh, runs out of energy first will also lose. Oh, okay. So it's kind of like a balancing act there. Absolutely. And let's see. This is our nuclear power plant. This one is a defensive plug, so when you go into it uh, as oh, an enemy, yeah. it'll it'll just hit you with damage constantly, and there will also be a hazard meter, so if that hazard yeah, that meter fills nasty. up, it'll... It'll hit you with even more damage, and you know, since I'm a friendly, I get the hazmat suit, so I'm protected. I'm, I noticed that. So as soon as you get in the area, you're automatically equipped with a hazmat suit. You yeah. throw that on. So you're safe. Whew. It's a lot of green gas. <laughs> it's like you just say Chipotle or something. You oh, know man. what I'm saying. You know, <laughs> Chipotle regret. Everyone has it. All right. All right, let's uh, pick up another small plug. Uh, let's go with the so there are a lot of choices you can literally choose from all of these different plugs yes. to put in. so there's there's uh, Several different plugs, but there's also variations so the variations will give you increased bonuses or or whatnot, right? Okay So let's grab this. So this is the silo and this one will give your entire team like a damage mitigation buff So this is handy to have also uh, you it has a defensive measure, so these oh, are yeah. laser grids. So if you run through those, you'll take some damage. Oof. Yeah, I'm not. Run I don't want to run through those lasers. Let's see if this works. There it goes. So there this one are. also. So the this plug unit will also give you a, sh a shield that you can carry with you and pop during the match and you'll you'll that take will move with you no no you can it's a basically an item so oh, as okay, you're as okay. you're playing you can choose Got to it. use it and drop it somewhere yeah and then the just match. stand inside and That's reap bad. the benefits of, yeah. the, of the protection shield I like that uh, now does that shield heal you uh, as well as defend against other people or does that hurt them what, what does it do it acts as a shield and just re reduces your incoming damage it's amazing that the <laughs> item called the shield uh, acts just like, like a, shield a shield and just uh, just protects you. Yeah, okay, man. don't get sassy. Hey, we got a couple <laughs> questions before we drop our next item. Oh, oh man, Frost is not here, and we've got a question from Shadow Blades. I will do my best, <clears throat> especially because my voice is growled. This is not going to be good. I'm not even going to pretend. Shadow Blades, what has been your favorite PvP moment slash memory question mark? Oh man. It's from Shadow Blades. If you've seen the show, if, if you haven't seen the show either, uh, Shadow Blades is one of our recurring characters here. He's actually a viewer who uh, works at, we, we just make fun and say that he works accounting at HR Block, <laughs> HR Block, um, because he has such a badass name that it would be funny if a guy named Shadow Blades worked at HR Block in accounting. Like a dragon with a clip on tie. Exactly. Kind of and actually, uh, one of our Wildstar artists uh, who, from the community, Salty Okra, uh, drew him, and I'm going to be showing him on the stream very soon. Very cool. Very, very cool to see Shadow Blades come to life. But anyway, what has been your favorite PvP um, moment? There's been so many. I think it's just playing on live. I mean, just no, no moments in, in particular, but just being able to play with players yeah. and just see uh, actually get destroyed because... <laughs> I don't have my dev ability. No. Yeah. <laughs> no, I know all about getting destroyed. My favorite moment was uh, was on a live stream. I was playing here with K Win um, uh, one day to, to to replace Frost. I was playing with her, and I stole a mask and ran it back to my team. Chuck went up for the exiles. Nice. Yeah, that's right. It was pretty awesome. <laughs> I was really pumped about it. Uh, we lost the match, and I died a lot at that, that match, yep. but I stole that one mask successfully. Play those objectives. <laughs> those, those dim skills, though. Dim skills, though. Uh, okay. Let's see. Are we doing more questions? or? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Let, me, okay. let me ask you one more. So this is from... What did you ask? What did you do? How dare you? I was from iPinfield. How much will the average war plot cost to set up? That's a good question because there is a lot going on in here with a lot of different plugs, a lot of different options. So yeah, what what's going to be like the average cost you think? Well, well, from the start when you create your war party, we give you 500 war coins, so that should be enough to to fully uh, kit out your war plot. As you can see here, uh, there's this particular plug costs you know 60 war coins, which is the war plot currency that you get when you win war plot matches. Okay, all right. War coins. Those yeah. sound cool. Yeah. 
sound really cool. <laughs> I don't know why. I wish war coins were like in real life. I could have some war coins. All right. War coins. Uh, let me get. Uh, this is from Martin Stacy on Twitter. Martin Stacy says at Tony Ray and nailed that Shadow Blades impression. Hashtag Team Tony. Yeah. Way to go, man. You got germs all over your hand. Um, one more question, and then we're going to get right back into building uh, out this war plot. This is from Druid's Fire. What's up, Druid's Fire? You're all over Twitter. Big fan Big fan of the community. Um, Absolutely. She, yeah, she's great. Uh, when can we get Smexy Muffin hats for PvP costume gear? Just like Kevin's Twitter avatar. <laughs> Druid's Fire actually made me, or drew that, my Twitter avatar. Oh, it's really? A, it's a Granok medic with a muffin hat. So, I didn't know that. Yeah. I thought you did that. No. I have no artistic ability whatsoever. <laughs> That's why I'm a uh, PvP designer. <laughs> fair enough. Fair enough. Uh, so, so yeah, that's uh, that's awesome. Well, thank you, Druid's Fire, for making him uh, making him his avatar. Yes, it's very important. Very much appreciated. So, what do we got going on here now? Right now, we ha this is a warbot factory. So this one can be pushed either offensive or defensive. So these once you have this, it'll spawn warbots in your war plot, mm -hmm. or uh, you'll have during the match you'll get the ability to call warplots to attack the enemy. So just uh, these these big guys will will march into the, the enemy base and try to kill them off. So this this is pretty... That is plug. pretty damn hardcore looking in there. And if you try Even to just fire? like roll through, these guys will be protecting it as well. Yeah. And these fire this fire will also do damage as well. Oh, so. nice. I love when that happens. And here's one of those, another defensive option is, is one of the turrets you can actually climb into. Yes. Yes. Oh, dude, I want all of that action. Yeah. Oh, yeah. That's pretty fun. Oh, you have different firing techniques? You do. Different firing modes. Different fo modes, techniques, whatever. So let's show, show the different types out, out in the open there. So we got the rain. distance. We have the, That's kind of like a, like a cannon blast. It almost takes like a charge up, yeah? Yeah. And that one too. A close range one. That's sick, dude. I like that. I like that a lot. Um, so we got a question uh, on Twitter, and I'm actually going to need Tyler uh, to pull up a picture of uh, Joe Jonas for me, please, because we got a question from Eric, uh, Erica W, uh, at Erica the Geo, at Tony Ray. Hi, Tony. Is Handsome Kevin actually Joe Jonas? He looks so much like him. <laughs> I, you know what? I have to say, I'm not sure. Erica That's is why. actually one of my very good friends, so. Well, then Erica would know best because uh, you kind of do look a little bit like like Joe Jonas. And I'm just going to, wow, we just pull up the entire, look at, now that's for sure. You're being real, real, uh, real poor with just pulling up these pictures. Look at, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and say yes. No. You definitely look like Joe Jonas. No. You're handsome Joe Jonas Kevin. <laughs> That's what I'm going to call you from now on. I That's hate you, Tony. I hate nickname. you so much. I know. Now I understand where Frost is coming from. I know, but I love you. <laughs> How dare you? How dare you? All right, so let's go ahead and uh, fill up another, another All right. plug here. So we have a defensive plug. We have a uh, guard plug. We have our travel plug. And we have the two small plugs, which will give us bonuses. So now let's let's put in one of my favorite type of plugs. And this is our, our, our massive weapon plug. So let's see. Let us Look do. at all these different. So, what are a few of these options? Let's go through some of these options and see, like, which ones we want to pick. So, we have an attack ship. This will basically give you an ability where you can call an airstrike on a certain place uh -huh. in the field. Uh, let's see. Uh, an Elden Beacon. Uh, it's again with the these uh, with these plugs, you will be able to get a war plot ability. So, if you have permissions or you're the war party leader, uh -huh. you'll be able to use these abilities in match. So, if it, it'll drop this. Elden Beacon will drop an AOE damage of just like a swarm of, oh, wow. of angry insects to do uh, a huge Literally damage. dropping angry insects. Yes. On. That's sick. Uh, the mul multiple rocket launcher is one of my favorites. It's oh, yeah. just like, it does what it says. That it's a multiple good. rocket launcher. just yeah. launches a, a, a crap ton of rockets at your enemies. Uh, another one is the orbital laser, where just a huge AOE laser comes down from the sky, oh, Hammer yeah. Dawn style. I don't know which everything. one to choose. These are all these are all good. Let's go with multiple rocket launcher. Okay. Just because it looks pretty cool. So that's getting built up. So now, did you design all of these? Actually, uh, 
uh, the main focus was was Jen Gordy on Warbots. Okay, so, awesome. Uh, I, I helped out with some of the, well, some of the plug design, yeah. but uh, and right now I'm going over war plots for visions, like things I would like to add in the future. So right, right, now right. that she's leveled up and is handling multiplayer. <laughs> leveled up, <laughs> yes. That is massive. Yeah, so these 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 super weapons come in handy. And another point to note is that there's a second resource within war plots called nano pack. So in the play field, there's gonna be five uh, capture and hold nodes. And as you capture them and hold them, you will get Nano pack resources accumulated, and those nano pack resources allow you to do such things as upgrade your plugs, uh, use your super weapons, call in, you know, uh, war plot raid wow. bosses, and all that fun stuff. This really is a, a whole huge battlefield. All right, and there's one final plug, and this is the boss summoner plug. This is the this is the bad boy that lets you bring raid bosses into your war plot. Uh, that, now remember this, seeing this, I think from the from the dev speak um, of war plots. This is pretty sick. Yeah. So who are we bringing in here right now? Uh, let's see. I'm gonna use uh, dev cheats to actually bring them in here. This is hell we yeah, can't. dev cheats. So right now we'll we'll go ahead and spawn in. Oh, another. I'm sorry. I, I'm uh, an important note is that so raid bosses you could or. Uh, Dungeon bosses you can get when you uh, when you they drop on veteran level uh, dungeons, uh -huh. so you can bring get those and bring those into your war plot. Or we have options that you can buy for war coins. So we have Murderbot, Kragar, and Metal Maw. So we'll, oh, Metal Maw for sure. Bro. We'll do a Metal Maw. Oh yes. Let's see. Hope, hopefully, I have the right cheat macro. <laughs> nope, that's Storm Talon. And so another feature is you can send your you can send your boss into the enemy's base and he will tear it up. Oh wow. And then if you have a boss as well, then you get some nice boss act boss on boss on boss action. Oh boss on boss action. Hashtag boss on what? No, that's not bad. Why are you shooting me? Hashtag boss on boss action. That's uh they could be taken either way. Shoot him again. Oh no, no! This is not fair. That is pretty sweet boss and boss action. It's getting real hot and heavy <laughs> with this boss on boss action. I'm like, uh, look at this. Metal mob. This is actually Storm pretty fun to watch them fight. So these uh, bosses are actually balanced for 20 people. So if if someone pulls this out, you you're gonna have to really, really work to, to yeah. destroy these guys yeah this is not an easy day in the field of battle another point to touch on that I should have touched on earlier is is the this little widget here uh -huh. this is the the plug structure unit so this is this is basically the plug controller so enemy enemies can attack and kill this so once they do that you lose all your plug benefits so oh, okay. so they can basically just roll through your war plot and just totally destroy everything they have Look at how badass this fight looks. And they're just going to continue fighting each other? Yeah. They're, they're, they're balanced well to fight each other, so this could take a while. I mean, I'm just really interested in it. Oh, yeah, they're, they're pretty balanced. It's, it's been a while of fight. One of our awesome designers, Blake Alexander, set up all of, all of the all of the war plot bosses and this creatures cool, within war plots. Twitch chat's loving it. This is, yeah, this is pretty slick. Um, so let me get a question from you while we're watching this fight. This fight is so cool to see. Um, Pale Ninja, <laughs> are we ever going to get uh, to man siege weaponry such as tanks or other big arse killing machines? I would love to do that. Actually, one of the first things I ever prototyped when I made a warplot <coughs> prototype was a uh, was a, a warbot mech. So you could get in there drive around, shoot off rockets and stuff, so... Yes. I would love to move towards something like that. Yeah. Tanks? Sure, why not? <laughs> why not, dude? That's, uh, that's pretty cool. Uh, this is from Garrick... Garrick Ogama. Uh, do you feel that plugs or player skill influences, uh, winning a... Oh, sorry, I was reading that in the wrong inflection. Do you feel that plugs or player skill influences winning a war plot match more? Um, 
So which one? Which one balances out? Which one counts more towards winning? I would say, in all PvP situations, I would say skill, because like you could kit out your warp plot, but if your team is not well coordinated and you guys just plain suck, then you're just gonna get rolled by a by a team who knows what they're doing. Right. So like a team like you and I to that together doesn't matter what we have on our warp plot because we're just gonna own. Yeah, you just stay back, defend the spawn room, and then we'll. Be no, there. I'm, no, I'm not doing that. <laughs> I'm not. I'm not doing that. I'm gonna be at the <laughs> forefront of the action. Okay. All right. So Hanson because Kevin. Tony would be dying so much, he would be costing us energy, which would make us more likely to lose to an attrition win. I don't like how sassy Kevin's being today. He needs to be in a timeout. I'll allow it. <laughs> Allow the timeout. Don't you say Tony is in charge of defending the repair station? That is rude. <laughs> Tony is in charge of winning the match, battling it out. Look at this boss battle. It is just so in the middle of this war plot. So, as a war plot pro, what would your strat be for for an offensive victory? Killing everyone. <laughs> That's my pro tip of the day. Tony tip: kill, kill everyone. everyone. There you go. There you go. PvP strategy. Kill everyone. Kill everyone. That's your Tony tip of the day. Okay. Uh, I got another question from you. M uh, M Town 403 Will plugs break down and need to be repaired? So we kind of touched on that a yes, little bit. So yeah. enemies can damage them and destroy them, and you can repair them in, in match using your nano pack resource. Okay, right. Thank you, M Town. M Town? What do you think he means by M Town? Min uh, Minnesota, that's not. M State. I don't know. M Town. M Town. We have to we're gonna Minneapolis. ponder this for a little while. Minneapolis, maybe. <laughs> Minneapolis 403. Maybe 403 is the area code. And I don't know why the hell we're spending so much damn time talking about where he's from. What's this we stuff? Know, hey. <laughs> You're right. I don't know why I'm so <laughs> transfixed by where M Town 403 is from. But tweet uh, us where you're from so we can yeah, stop please, all of this. Please, M Town. M Town. I must know. Um. <laughs> Another question from uh, Awfuls. That's a cool name. Awfuls. Uh, how will the dungeon bosses work in war plots? Will there be rebalance for PvP? And will war parties have to include a PvE team in their group as part of their composition? So these are uh, unique bosses for war plots. So they are completely rebalanced for war plots already. We're not just giving you like a uh, pulling uh, raid boss and just dropping it in. It's, it's specifically balanced for war plots. Okay, awesome. Awesome, awesome. I'm getting on Twitch chat that that might be Motown by someone who's not very nice. <laughs> and someone on Twitch stream not being nice to Tony? I know. And that's a timeout for you. <laughs> Boom! That's what happens. That might be Motown. And then he called me a name. <laughs> I think it's so funny when people... Waste time. Yeah, Chris is gonna come shoot you through Twitch chat with the Nerf gun. Um, all right, let's see, let's see. This question is from uh, Kristen Manocchio on Twitter. Kristen Mano Manocchio, Manocchio, Kristen Manocchio. Can we be besties? Can we be besties? Uh, that's just for me, but I'm gonna go ahead and ask you. Can you be besties? Of course. We're besties with everybody because we really care about the Wildstar community. We definitely do. And we got a really cool community. We do. I is, mean, uh, one of our community awesome. members made you your Twitter avatar. That is awesome. Profile picture. Yeah. That's that's super cool. Yes, Kristen, we're besties. Uh, BFLs for life, for sure. Uh, all right, I got another question from Twitch chat. Again, if you have questions for Twitch, uh, please put them in the chat. We are pulling them uh, as quickly as we can. This one is from Neptune Star 8506. Do you get anything special when you kill a raid boss in war plots? There's no special rewards, but you're basically depriving the other team of having their war plots. So the 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 war plot token, war plot boss tokens are consumable. So after you buy it and use it, it's it's gone. So right. if you kill that, then they don't have it anymore for the entire match. So that is so it's not like they like, like they killed. It's it wouldn't be as if they killed the raid boss for the first time. They've already killed their raid boss, or they've bought their boss. Yeah. And so, so okay, yeah. So it's just part of the strategy yeah. of the of the warplug. Exactly. Awesome. Cool, cool, cool. Um, as well, uh, if you'd like to send me a tweet, I'm pulling questions from there. 
Uh, also, at Tony Ray, I'll be pulling questions. So we're good for questions for just a minute. I'll go ahead and let them kind of queue up some Sounds more good. questions. Let's pull in another. Uh, let's pull in another. Um, another defense mechanism or something right. that can kill people because I'm really interested in it. All right, let's try another hazard plug. What are, what are our other options for hazard plugs? So right now we just have the we have what's called a gas processing plant. Uh, this one will will uh, put a debuff on you, so it'll slow you down, prevent you from jumping higher, and then uh, again once your hazard meter reaches full, it'll start ticking damage on you as well. So okay. this is a really good plug to stop people from from uh, trying to rush your generators. So if you have your defenders sit up in here they'll be going against a slowed enemy. If you keep them in here long enough, then you'll get that bonus damage once the, once the, once they get hit with that hazard. Right. I got a quick question. Uh, this is from William Sasbo on Twitter. At Tony Ray, when will you give me Wildstar swag? Shirt me, please. William, I'm sorry, but if you'd like a, a chance to win some Wildstar swag on our Tumblr page, uh, go to Tumblr and, and go to our Wildstar page. Uh, we are having a competition. Today is the last day to enter it. All you have to do is reblog the competition post, uh, reblog that, favorite it, follow us, and uh, and you will be in the entering for a lot of Wildstar swag. We're giving away a ton of stuff: shirts, Rouse Dowers, keychains, uh, keychains, giving away all kinds of stuff. So that is a great opportunity to try and win some swag. Go to our Tumblr play Tumblr page right now. William Sasbo on the Twitter. So another thing to note about like the the plugs is that they they're some of them are maze like so it's yeah it's, you're not gonna just breeze through these well things. and they can't they can't fly like you obviously no. in the you can't build. do this in game so, so. can you go out on the ground to see what it what like the height of those yeah you're not can, gonna be jumping can, you over can't those. jump no. you can't double jump so you really you really do have to make it through this maze and it's it's once you jump down into this plug so the enemies will have to come up and over this platform so once they they're in here they can't go back because these force fields can only be uh, can only be passed by the team that owns this oh plug. okay so you're committing that's, yourself this is very cool yeah I like this one a lot let's pull up another uh, we'll do a another guard plug let's go with the osin these guys are just giant dudes who do a lot of a little bit more tanky. Okay. So if again, if you want, these guys would be good on defense. I've got a picture on my Twitter from uh, Jarloth saying uh, at Tony Ray get well soon, and it's a picture of the, of the me getting uh, stream the stream the strain emote. Yeah. And the monster bursting out of my chest. That, that looks, is awesome. Looks terrifying, is what it looks like. Thank you. Well done, Jarla. Well done. <laughs> that was a very quick Photoshop. Uh, thank you. So, okay, so what do we got here? This is again, this is dev build, so these green things shouldn't be showing up. But here are our Osin guards. As you can see, they. Yeah. They he will do does not look friendly, in the least bit. But also, like he knows he's red. The, when if you if you were, uh, have a blue war plot, your guys would be blue. So everything is nicely color coded. Oh, cool! So you can quickly identify the things that will kill you. That's good. And again, this one has uh, a turret as well to help with defense. That damn turret is slick, dude. Oh, and another feature I've completely forgot about. They're still going on it over there. Is you can place just like in housing, you can place. Uh, like decor items, but these de decor items kill people. So we yes! have we have uh, landmines that you can that you can uh, you know place throughout. We have uh, turrets. <laughs> so you can you can purchase these and put them in your crate, so you can uh, place them throughout the match during war plots. Awesome. Or and you can also set them up in in your build map, so you can just fully kit out. Uh, you know, defensive turrets, uh, um, landmines, uh, sentry guns. Yes. And you can put them anywhere? Yes, anywhere. Oh, man. Let's see. Let's just go ahead and place this. There we go. 
so you can set them up like this oh, and yeah. put them wherever you want or in however you want so I like that man uh, and I think the the boss fight is now over I think I think Metal Mod died yes someone finally won so. yes look at that Storm Town that went on for so, for quite some time yeah Storm yeah. Town was victorious uh, so let me ask you a couple more questions here uh, this is from Alequane Alequane, can I spam heals on my Warplot raid boss? You can heal your Warplot raid boss. Hell yeah. Yes. The fight will continue even longer. <laughs> I like that. Dude, yeah. look at just look at look at how sick and just terrible. Terrible? Terrible. Awful and terrorizing this looks. It, it it's so it's just demonic really. The amount of carnage that is inside this Warplot. I love it. It's too bad Frost isn't here, because this is very metal. <laughs> this is very hardcore, and uh, I really think Frost would really appreciate how hardcore this is. He's seen more plots before. He, I know, he, I know, but... He's aware I, of the awesomeness. Yeah, but I, I want I want to see his face when seeing <laughs> this hardcoreness. Um, let me get another question from Workhorse. It's from Workhorse on Twitch. War plots take a lot of time and effort to set up. Other than fun and excitement, what's the return on our investment for war plots? Also, big thanks to Kevin for getting me addicted to Kettle One. Ah, <laughs> uh, well, I'm sorry. Let's let's address this real quick. Kevin, are you are you promoting alcoholism to our fans? Not what? at all. I, I met Workhorse at our at our PAX party, oh, PAX okay. party. Okay. Awesome, awesome guy. I'm not gonna swear. Put the gun down. <laughs> 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 and I, I got him a <laughs> shot of Kettle One, which he's. Had never had so. Oh it's a, wow! It's a good point. Oh, I'm a big it. fan of Kettle One. Yeah, we we gotta have some Kettle One sometime. We'll actually, that. workhorse. Uh, you said also big thanks to Kevin. You're missing. Uh, it's actually also big thanks to handsome Kevin. No. Uh, his, no. How we will be called? And Just known Kevin. From this day forward. No. Big thanks to handsome Kevin. So, uh, what is the return investment for spending all this time uh, in in the war plots? Well, you get you uh, war plots is a rated. Um, it's a, a rated uh, game mode, so oh, okay. you, as you as you progress, you also get access to gear, uh, the high, high, highest level gear, or in line with our arena gear. You also get war coins, so you can build out a, a bigger and badder war plot. Uh, you get the loot bags and and uh, prestige, wow, okay. and all that good stuff. So besides all the fun and excitement and, and honor and victory yeah. and winning. You definitely get a whole lot more stuff. Yeah. That's also another thing I'm looking at. I want war plots to be more rewarding because it's it's a big time investment. You're getting you're coordinating 40 people to fight another right. group of 40. So right. it's it's not like hey let's just do this. It's it's a lot of coordination. So I want to uh, get rewards that reflect the amount of effort that it takes to get those going. Yeah. Okay. Sweet. Uh, thank you, workhorse. Uh, this uh, question is from critical crit sum. Critical critical crit sum. Are you planning on adding more maps other than Wall of Tiki Temple and Halls of Bloodsworn? Yes. There you go. Uh, yeah, no. <laughs> the, so so our, the big PvP drop, we, 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 we teased it, uh, definitely uh, teased it. Mike Donatelli teased it at the last stream on yeah. Tuesday for the Nexus report. Uh, as well as we teased, uh, we told you that, you know, the next drop was all going to be PvP oriented at the Frost end of the day. hinted week. at, yeah, it's going to be a nice drop. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. So the next drop is definitely going to be all about PvP, um, and so maybe new maps. New uh, BG. New, yeah, new new BG might yeah. might be in there. Might you definitely said it's like the worst yeah, kept secret definitely. ever. So yes, it really is. Okay, <laughs> yes. You heard it here first. It's official from handsome Kevin, handsome Kevin Lee here. He Bastard. really he really does not like being called handsome because he's so modest, but he's also equally so handsome. Uh, <laughs> Rod from Twitch is asking. Uh, would sending in uh, cannon fodder line of lops be a good idea? Always. Can you do that? No. Okay. <laughs> I was like, wait, what? Is this a new thing? That would be amazing. Have them trigger things? I don't know. Don't listen to me. This is why I'm not a PvP designer. Yeah. We can have a cannon fodder ability, which is like just sends lop that just to die. Why not? That would be sad, though. It I feel would. like I wouldn't it do would. it. <laughs> it feels like a very Dominion thing to do. I wouldn't do that. Be honest, you would. No, maybe, maybe. Uh, this is from Anna Strace. Anna Strace, will we see any large-scale battlegrounds uh, that aren't war plots? Depends on what you determine 
large scale. If 40 v 40, no. Uh, uh, the next BG is going to be 15 v 15. The map is much bigger, uh, intended to feel uh, much larger, while also you know having people spread out and having you know smaller skirmishes. But uh, nothing right now. Nothing beyond 15 v 15 is planned. Okay, awesome. Uh, this question I'm pulling in from Panda Joe on Twitch. Why is Tony a bit of a jerk? What? I would like to know as well. What? I am never, I'm not a jerk at all. <laughs> I love this man. No, I Tony is an amazing individual. No, yeah, we uh, we like to uh, give each other a lot of crap on this show. Good natured ribbing. And uh, yeah, it's good, yeah, good natured ribbing. That's a good way to yeah. put it. You know, Frost gets a lot of it too. Frost thinks, people think that Frost doesn't like me or like Frost is some mean guy. Yeah. I love Frost, he's one of my favorite people here. Yeah. And that's why we get along so well on the show. Our chemistry of just like going back and forth. So please, people. We're just we're just we're all friends here. We just like to uh, to mess with each other yes. as as friends as friends do. Keep that in mind when I prank your desk. So <laughs> how dare you stay away from my desk? I've got my my Green Bay miniatures on there. Don't you touch my Green Bay miniatures? Don't, I don't like oh. that smile. I don't like that <laughs> smile at all. So yeah, Panda Joe, I'm sorry if you think I'm a jerk, but I'm just being friendly. <laughs> I really am. Uh, uh, this is from. Kiffin Mappa. Kiffin Mappa. When is, uh, when is coming to the next big patch regarding PvP? We basically, so just answer that. So that when is the next big patch coming? Yeah. yeah. So, the, patch the two. next drop, patch two. two. Yes, we just dropped strain content. Uh, that was patch one. Patch two is, uh, all is, is all PvP. So, that's, that's when you can expect that. All right, last question of the day. Coming from RH1909. Rhino9, thank you. Rhino9, what's the best way for a non PvPer to get into PvP without uh, getting totally wrecked? That would just be simple practice grounds. So those open mm -hmm. up at level six, yeah. and you just jump in there and get a feel for how our PvP plays. Rhino9, don't feel bad. I am a PvPer. I play PvP in every game uh, I've ever played. Mm -hmm. I love PvP, and I get wrecked. It is not easy. It's definitely not easy. Or um, you're terrible. So it's it's one of those two. <laughs> See, Panda, who's the jerk now? Um, <laughs> I am terrible. Uh, but yeah, no, uh, we, don't you shoot me. I'm just saying I'm terrible. Uh, he's like pointing this gun at us. It's crazy. Self-deprecation, not a laugh. <laughs> no, no, seriously. Uh, but yeah, um, it, it is hard. So you practice, practice makes perfect. Or practice mates at least a little bit bearable. We also open uh, practice arenas up at level 30. Normally that's cap level content, but we give you a way so you can get into arenas, which is normally something pretty daunting and yeah. highly competitive. So if you can just queue up and queue with uh, some random person, you can you know, potentially build up you know, teams or and get accustomed to how arenas play without waiting till level 50 and then like jumping into the deep end of the pool with right. all the sharks. So, so that's, that's another question. The last question that I wanted to ask is, um, what and when is when does this all become available to me? When when as a player can I start playing war plots? When can I jump in and really start you know souping up my my war plot uh, to the way it looks now? When you're at level 50, you can create your begin creating your war plot. So you just go to Group Finder and you'd go to your your the war plot section and then you could create your war party uh, just by clicking this bad boy. And I've already one created. Top of the muffin to you. Uh, <laughs> Top of the muffin to you. I like that. So, uh, and your war party can uh, can hold 80 people, so you'll have reserves <laughs> because right. you're not going to have 80 people or 40 people at all times, so it's right. good to have that extra. And like I said, the mercenary system is there as well, so you can just, without creating a war party, you can just queue up for a war pot, plot battle and join the fight. Awesome. That's great. Um, you know, and also, this is, I said it was the last pro the last question, but this is actually the last question from Lie Caddy. Uh, are war plot battles limited to faction versus faction, or can you battle the same faction? I don't think we covered that, so that is good. So, can exile? Can if you're a Dominion, I'm in exile. Can you be on my war plot and we fight together, or no? It's not. It, yeah, uh, you can fight exile v Dominion and Dominion v Dominion, or exile v Dominion. So it's Got it. It, you can fight the same faction. Awesome. That's cool. Um. Let's see. <laughs> Uh, I'm getting some Green Bay hate on my Twitter. That's fine. That's fine. No one can be perfect. People aren't Green Bay fans. Uh, this was a lot of fun, man. I'm really excited uh, to get, uh, you know, if anything, this is motivating me to get to level 50. We'll level uh, yet now. 
Let's not talk about it. It's not important. <laughs> the important part is that I'm motivated now to get to 50. All right? All right. All right, Sassy Kevin. That's what your name is now. You're no longer Handsome Kevin to me. You're now Sassy I Kevin. I prefer that. Thank you. This is BS. <laughs> um, <laughs> Panda does not like when you were rude to me, okay? Oh, he no, specifically called you out. He so. called me out. He, I'm Rightfully so. Right, Rightfully this so. BS. Um, this is really cool, man. I, I really love all the different options, the different uh, like play styles that you can play with. You know, going defensive or, or offensive. I'm definitely going offensive. Are you more of a of a defensive player when you're doing war plots? Uh, I tend to, to move more toward the defensive build. Yeah. Okay. All right. That makes sense. You're a nicer guy. I feel like. <laughs> I feel like you would. You know, you'd be like, guys, I'll wait don't till come you come in into here. my house to kill you. Oh, good. Yeah. Come on see, in, guys. There you go. See, I'm like, I'm doing the purge. I'm breaking down doors. I'm just like, who wants to? And then die immediately. Yeah, and then die immediately. <sighs> Thank you. Thank you. Well, I saw that. I saw the PvP stream. So I. <laughs> hey, I stole that one mask. Remember? That whole one mask. That, that whole one mask. Of the five me. needed to win. That. <laughs> you are definitely now sassy Kevin. <laughs> Handsome Kevin is no more. <sighs> you are sassy Kevin. Uh. Thank you all so much for watching. Uh, next week, we're going to be talking about raids on the Nexus Report. That's going to be very cool. A month in, what is the state of raids? Um, also, uh, next uh, Thursday, we're having another um, Wild Star Weekly. It's going to be all gameplay. We're going to be hanging out, playing. Frost will be back. Uh, so it's going to be some good times. Uh, Kevin, thank you so much for taking time out of your busy schedule. Thank I know, you for I, re me. I know you are super busy. You guys work uh, like crazy over there. Uh, the whole PvP team. I mean, all devs, really. But yeah, uh, yeah special thanks to the PvP team Thank you, for sir. letting you out here. <laughs> Thank you for having me. I appreciate it. Yeah, and, I mean, damn it, isn't he just the most God handsome dev you. you've ever met? He really is. Your desk is definitely getting pranked. That's I, I, fine. It just stepped up a level now. That's fine. It's just gonna be pictures of your handsome face all over it. And you know what? <laughs> I'd leave him up. I'd leave him up. Bastard. Look at look at the looks on this guy. Thank you all so much. I appreciate it. Uh, I promise you, we love each other. We just like to uh, give each other crap. Don't you touch me. Don't you ever <laughs> touch me again. I look forward to all your war plots. We'll see you guys on Tuesday. And be sure this is the last day of the Tumblr competition. So go to our Tumblr page and uh, that get, some, get a chance to win some sweet, sweet Wildstar swag. We'll see you on Tuesday, guys. No, no, why? Why? That doesn't even make sense. On general just, principle. No, what the heck? You just throw... Aw. That's just cute. <laughs> see you later, guys. Got hit with adorable. I know, I really did. Don't believe it. Planet Nexus now lies before us. We're approaching the Elven facility. Cambot 1, Cambot 2. You getting this? Our work on this planet is something greater. It is something truly divine. We shall reveal the ancient secrets of the Nexus. Ever get a feeling something seriously wrong? This is not good. Not good at all. By the gods, you.